Welcome to the Hard Dollar Self Paced Product Training Master Job Properties lesson. This lesson will provide you with a basic overview of some of the settings available in the Master Job Properties in the library. All data that is set up in the library will be brought automatically into new job folders as they are created. As such, some companies that perform work for one owner or do similar types of work find it useful to set up common job properties in the library so that each new job will contain similar job property information. This lesson will focus on only four of the tabs available in the Master Job Properties form. Overview, Cover Sheet, Cost Basis, and Fuel Cost. The other tabs within the form will be discussed in subsequent lessons. In reviewing this lesson, please keep in mind that all the items discussed may not be utilized by your organization. The thing to think about when setting up the Master Job Properties is that if there is information that is common in most of your jobs, then it makes sense to set it up in the Master Job Properties so that it is copied into all new job folders automatically. This section will discuss the setup of the Overview tab information for the Master Job Property. Every job created will contain this overview information by default. Once a new job is created, the contents can be edited within the individual job folder. The Overview tab provides you with the ability to enter a default status for all new jobs as they are created. These statuses can be utilized later in Hard Dollars Analytics tools to group jobs by status, which will aid in the evaluation of your organization's portfolio of work. The statuses available are bidding, awarded, underway, submitted, completed, and lost. We will select bidding as our default tag for new jobs. Next, you can add a description for your job. Please remember that any description entered into the Master Job Properties Overview tab will be automatically copied into all new job folders as they are created. The default description that comes in from the Master Job Properties Overview tab can be changed within the job folder. You can also add notes to your Master Job Properties Overview tab. The Notes field is used to record any or all observations and explanations about the job that you feel will be useful for later review and reference. Those notes will be the default notes that come into all new job folders as they are created. Once again, the notes can be edited in the new job folders once they are created. This section will discuss the setup of the cover sheet data tab information for the master job properties. Every job folder that is created will contain this cover sheet information by default. Once the job is created, cover sheet information can be modified to reflect the specifics of the new job. The master job properties cover sheet is used to describe general terms to the reviewer. This information can be included in the proposal when it is generated from within Hard Dollar. Once again, any information entered into this form will be automatically copied into all new job folders. We'll go ahead and enter some example data into this form. The next three fields of the Cover Sheet tab, Engineer, Owner, and Architect, each have icons to the right. These icons represent the address book. In order to fill out the information for those three fields, we need to have entries in our address book which represents each of those categories. We will now select an Engineer, an Owner, and an Architect from our address book. Notice that when I click on the icon, a selection register appears which represents our address book. The contract duration field allows us to input the number of days that we feel our contract will last. The time measure allows us to specify a measure of time, either calendar days, work days, or contract days. The next fields, forecast start and forecast finish dates, will be used to calculate our duration in days. Notice that once I put in my forecast start and forecast finish dates, Hard Dollar automatically calculates my duration. The last thing we'll do on the Cover Sheet tab 
is fill in some sample proposal information, and then we will move on to our next section. This section will discuss the setup of the cost basis tab information for the master job properties. Every job folder that is created will contain this cost basis information by default. Once the job is created, the cost basis information can be modified to reflect the specifics of the new job. The master job properties cost basis tab is separated into five sections. Standard shift arrangements, standard wage rate composite, rules, standard rates, and resource filter. We will discuss some of the most commonly used options on this tab during this lesson. Other options available on this tab will be discussed in subsequent lessons. The standard shift arrangements allows you to specify the work hours per shift, pay hours per shift, shifts per day, and days per week. We will fill this section out first. The labor rate composite setup is an optional setup for a job. It is only necessary when you want to adjust the unit charge rates for labor for the job as a whole to accommodate the application of multiple wage scales. In our example, we will set the scale 1 to 90%, which will set scale 2 to 10% automatically. Lock cost items to pay item. This option allows you to specify how you want hard dollar to operate. If you elect to lock the cost items to the pay item list, so that pay items become level 1 cost items in the cost breakdown structure, or CBS. Changes made to the quantity, description, or unit of measure of one are automatically made to the other. We will leave this checked on for our job. Pay item unit price precision. This option allows you to specify how you want hard dollar to round and display pay item unit prices on the pay item and proposal register. We will leave this set to two for our job. PBS changes log. This option allows you to activate and deactivate the PBS changes log. The PBS changes log is used to record all changes to the job's price breakdown structure, or PBS. When activated, an entry will be made in the PBS changes log for each action taken that affects the job's target price. We will leave this unchecked for our job. We will enter a sales tax rate for the job of 5%. The standard sales tax rate will be used for the calculation of rented construction equipment, installed material, supplies, installed equipment, and unique resource charge rates. The resource filter determines which resources will make up the job's resource pool used to detail independent cost items in the CBS. Resources are created in the library module. From there, they are copied to the data foundation of new jobs and define the job's resource pool. Once resources are copied to a job's data foundation, any changes made to the copy have no effect on the original version in the library. And of course, any changes made to the original in the library have no effect on the copy in the job. When resources are created in the library, they are assigned tags that establish the nature of the resources and or group to which they belong. The resources in the library can be assigned such tags as resource file names, wage zone names, organizational category names, and or geographic area names. In addition, the resources in the library can be assigned generic tabs defined by you to further organize the resource sets. In our example, we will go to the construction equipment rate resource type and select standard equipment from the resource file description category. This section will discuss the setup of the fuel cost tab information for the master job properties. Every job folder that is created will contain this fuel cost information by default. Once the job is created, the fuel cost information can be modified to reflect the specifics of the new job. The Master Job Properties Fuel Cost form is used to define the fuel cost per unit consumed for construction equipment resources that are used in a job. This is an optional setting. Set it up only if you want to adjust the charge rate for construction equipment resources that consume fuel on a job. In our example, we will edit the cost for diesel and gas and add a third fuel type called off-road diesel. To add the new fuel type, off-road diesel, we will right-click next to the first blank row. Next, we will click New and then enter the information into the new record form that appears.
Once we have finished entering our fuel cost information, we will click the OK button at the bottom of the page to close out of the Master Job Properties form. Congratulations, you have just completed the lesson. This lesson covered the following topics. Entering information on the Master Job Properties Overview tab, Cover Sheet tab, Cost Basis tab, and Fuel Cost tab.